So, welcome to another video. Uh, my name is Alex, this is the Psychedelic Experience, and this channel is all about cycling content. So today we'll be uh, looking at a uh, heart rate monitor here from Ku Spo. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, so this is uh, from China, I just came into the poster a few days ago. So uh, this thing here, it um, it's a live tracking heart rate monitor. Uh, you can uh, see when it's connected. It has a light here, flashes uh, different colors. Uh, yeah, it's IP67 waterproof and it's app compatible. So you can uh, connect this to like watches, fitness equipment and stuff and smartphones. If I can open. Okay. So that's pretty much it. And uh, then we get a user manual. It's a newspaper type of a uh, manual here that looks like once you open it fully, you can't fold it back up again to the same way it was. Okay, we have some uh, English instructions here. And let's see what else we have. So we have the strap, which is uh, feels nice. Mm, I like this band. That's the strap there. Feels nice. And here, the main star, uh, this is uh, the heart rate monitor. So it has your left and right. So I suppose it will go like this. Click in here, if it clicks. Okay, not so easy, but it's in there now. Right, so that's, uh, that's how it looks. The quality is, uh, is good, it looks hard. Um, Nice color. Uh, there's different colors you can get. You can get black ones as well, uh, different color straps as well. Red, blue, and you can mix and match them as well. Got this from China, about 23 euro, 23 euro or so. Uh, not bad, so it looks pretty good so far. Um, so let's try to see if we can connect this to the, to the phone or to the Strava app that I have here. I think I'll have to put this on me first because uh, it doesn't, it only turns on once they detect a heartbeat. Okay, so uh, looks like it was pretty straightforward. Um, I went into the Strava there, clicked the heart rate monitor here, and it came up into the, my av available sensors. Make sure you have your uh, Bluetooth on. I just put a bit of water on the back, on the band, uh, behind it, and stuck that to my chest, and it's a, there was a green light flashing. So it was connected, and you can see there my heart rate. It was uh, 79, 78 beats per minute at the moment. Let's pick an activity here. Say it's gonna do a walk, for example. I'm gonna start this, and here it is, uh, the heart rate. Do some squats. Is it going up? So you can see there my heart rate. Uh, it is going up there as I've done some squats. Now, in the meanwhile, it doesn't show any lights that it's, uh, it's working, but as you can see here, it is working here. Uh, now, according to the user manual here, power already. Yeah, when you hear two beep sound, LED brings the green, indicating that the heart rate sensor was worn correctly and the heart rate signal is detected. That's that there, so uh, we will be taking this out for a ride, uh, for a spin, uh, out cycling and see how this reacts. Now it's going to be a nightmare to fold this back up again. Something like this. Yep. Yeah. Almost there. Great. So, I've uh, just finished about a 3k run or so. Uh, I've done uh, some uh, straight and curves. So I ran for 400 meters, walked for about 100 meters and so I just repeated that a couple of times just to see how the heart rate monitor reacts uh, relative to the effort and I must say it's, uh, it's pretty good, it's consistent let's just say. I've also taken this out for a spin a couple of times with my bike and uh, same again, I've done the same route twice and it's uh, pretty consistent again so uh, it reacts. Um, I don't get anything uh, too crazy off chart, 
So uh, yeah, it's a pretty good budget uh, heart rate monitor. Not sure what bad I can say other than it's uh, from China. <laughs> it's worth, it's pretty good value for money. If you're in the market for a new uh, heart rate monitor, budget heart rate monitor, uh, or your first heart rate monitor, I would recommend this. Uh, now I have nothing else to compare it against to, or um, I don't have a long term review of this. But for a moment, I can say, yeah, uh, it's good. The plastic feels good. Uh, it doesn't slip. As you can see here, it's not, it's here. It's, it's not bulky. It doesn't stick out or anything like that. Uh, the plastic seems like good quality. Um, and uh, yeah, it beeps when it connects or no, it beeps. Yeah, when it put it on your chest, when it detects a heartbeat. Uh, so you know it's alive, you know you have battery, there's a flashing light and uh, once you take it off your chest it beeps again just to let you know that it's, uh, it's lost signal or whatever. So it's uh, yeah, pretty good. Also as well, uh, what I want to add is that uh, some people don't like that it has a flashing light or uh, it beeps uh, for some reason, I'm not sure why. But uh, I prefer that. I like to know what's going on, Where, if there's an issue, where the issue is. Is it with the phone or is it with the heart rate monitor? Is that a battery? Whatever. So I prefer that. Some people don't, but uh, each of their own. Again as well, is this uh, the best uh, budget heart rate monitor for 2021? It could be. Don't know. Very well could be. Uh, I've no other heart rate monitor to compare it against, but uh, uh, budget heart rate monitor definitely at the top for this year I'd say it's new brand on the market I think I haven't heard of this uh, I haven't seen this one before anywhere there's another version older version of this but uh, yeah this very well could be one of the best cheap uh, heart rate monitor on the market let me know what you think uh, let me know down in the video give this video a smash give this video a thumbs smash a thumbs <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up, smash it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know what you think. Happy cycling and uh, I'll see you in the next one.